What about this penny EV stock that is currently trading at roughly $1? A penny EV stock that currently has a market cap of about $36 million. And where whereas we're talking about a some multi-billions for Tesla, a penny EV stock that has a market cap of $36 million. And yes, it is. It is a Moulinot Automotive Inc. It's on the move in this session of the 20, pre-market session of the 28th of February 20. 22 and the news is that um, yes it uh, collected data from solid state so solid state cell testing which shows uh, impressive results including a range of 600 plus miles on a full charge and over 300 miles of uh, range delivered in uh, 18 minutes with uh, DC fast charging so the company is saying that uh, it's uh, testing of solid state polymer cells reveals the potential of uh, for a 150 kilowatt hour battery pack that delivers over 600 plus miles of range and highlights an 18 minute uh, DC fast charge which can yield over 300 miles of uh, range. So Mullen is uh, working towards utilizing solid state polymer battery packs in its uh, second generation Mullen 5 EV crossovers with in-vehicle in -vehicle prototype testing set for 2025. Uh, Mullen's first generation uh, 5 EV crossover due in late 2024 is planned to launch uh, with uh, traditional lithium ion cell chemistry. So, Mullen, Mullen is also conducting extensive research and development into other advanced battery technologies, including lithium sulfur and lithium ion phosphate. Mullen's ultimate goal is to deliver EV batteries that will surpass today's uh, existing lithium ion technology and offer a host of benefits such as increased efficiency, energy density and range while also lowering lowering the cost, weight, thermal and environmental risks. So the company is, is saying that they've conducted successful testing and will begin uh, pack level development next according to their CEO uh, David Makery. And um, the test, the, te the, the, the test data collected also shows an impressive outcome and future for solid solid state batteries. So, to sum up, they've tested their uh, 300 amp hour cell, which uh, yielded uh, 343 amp hour at 4.3 volts, and the results surpassed all expectations. So they can now say with all certainty that this technology, once implemented on the uh, more than five will deliver over 600 miles of range on a full charge. The future is, according to them, the future is bright. So, uh, note also that Tesla currently has a a delivery time of about 15 minutes for some of its uh, models, and um, I don't exactly know what the sort of range they also have on some of those models. But this is quite close, quite close, you know. So, and then. Uh, there's also what they also are pointing out here is a polymer cell. You know, normally for solid states, you know, solid state simply means um, the electrolyte is is uh, solid, and then the electrodes are positive, uh, so are solids as well. So the the polymers involved, which will be a sort of plastic, it's a sort of plastic involved in the cell or in the battery, will en enhance that. It will ensure cohesion of the polymer of the of the uh, electro electrodes and the electrolytes and um, improve the manufacturability and you know just make the it just makes the battery much more robust you know so that's why they have uh, gone in this direction it's it's not only them there are a couple of other uh, development um, um, uh, outfits that are you know pursuing that direction so in this pre-market session so far we have that um, the stock has um, gained uh, 45 percent at some point it was a gain of about 55 percent you know, and as I pointed earlier on, this is a stock that is a penny stock. Currently, the market cap is about 36 million. If you if you're looking at this, if you're looking at it on this sort of uh, on that basis, and also comparing it with uh, the market capitalization of uh, some of the other stocks, like um um, um what is it called, uh, Polestar, which uh, is currently at um, currently using um, GGPI. You, know, you can see that this sort of price is trading at ten point eight zero dollars. You know, and you can see maybe maybe it is relatively cheap. Market capitalization thirty six million dollars. You know, so um, and I think it has about thirty four million shares outstanding. You know, so right now 
this is what it's trading at right now roughly one dollar so the future looks bright i think so you know in terms of, of opportunities it also looks like it has some opportunity there so so if we have to come up with a target we can just take up this price of 1.04 and this low of uh, 0 0.97 and we will find a difference 1.04 minus 0 0.97 and we have a difference of 0 0.07 times 2.618 we have a difference of 0 0.1 0 0.1832 plus 1 so we have a target of 1.18 this is what we expected to trade at within this session of the of uh, the 28th of February we expected to get up to this sort of price 1.18 you know but this is not our ultimate target our ultimate target we, we have to, to find out we have to go all the way back to the monthly uh, chart and see what we can make of the daily chart and see sort of uh, figures we are we will be looking at there so when we take this price you see the underlying trend for the stock is a bearish one so as a matter of fact you can see the stock at some point was trading at seventeen dollars, so it's been bearish, you know. So it it has opportunity to get back to where it was before. So if we take this uh, price of three point five, and uh, this low of um, okay, this is three point five and three point five and two, we find that difference, which is one point five, one point five times. 2.618 we have 3.92 plus the current price of one so our ultimate target is a 4.92 it looks like a like an ambitious target 4.92 dollars for muln stock it looks quite ambitious quite ambitious yes but um, as that's our target at some point it was trading way 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 above that so um it has lost a lot of, of its value but with this uh, news it's uh, gaining more ground there's no consider there's no guarantee that it will continue to do well in this session of the 28th of february but ultimately in the long run there's it has every room every room every reason there's every reason for it to do well you know i believe the company is also already manufacturing the cars that, that it's it, uh, already so right now it has added some more gains uh, so See what you make of uh, MULN stock and uh, thank you very much for watching this video.